Well, my name is Jakob Hogenbaum. I am the uh, managing director of Intertrust in the Russian Federation, but I'm originally from Holland. And uh, I lived in Luxembourg for many years, and uh, today I had a speech about Singapore. It's really nice to meet you here, and it's the second time in a conference in Tallinn, as I remember. It's very nice to see you here again. All right, my question is dedicated to your speech. Okay. There is a tax, a double tax treaty between Singapore and Russia signed and ratified. So the question is, uh, for your, from your point of view, could Singapore become the alternative to Cyprus in terms of building holding structures? Uh, I think on some points, definitely. Uh, some of the structures that have been set up in the past using Cyprus have only been set up to lower the withholding tax burden in Russia. For that uh, purpose, Singapore would probably not be an ideal location because of the limitation of benefit clause in the treaty. Uh, however, there are also uh, structures that have been set up uh, in Cyprus for really large Russian groups whereby the Cyprus company has been, let's say, a holding platform, a true holding platform, and real activities have taken place in Cyprus. For those type of structures, I think Singapore could definitely be a, uh, a next step, especially if there are Asian investors involved or if it is a, uh, a client which is looking forward to do an IPO in the future. One of the most popular questions for us is, is it difficult and what are the chances to get the, uh, to receive the resident permit if setting up the business in Singapore? The residence permit? Well, I think, uh, you know, given that Singapore is a very multinational country, I think that's the point where you should start. Like I said in my presentation, 40% of the population of Singapore is uh, actually foreign, it's not from Singapore. And besides that, it's a very open country in terms of uh, freedom of religion, uh, freedom of speech. It's, it's, it's one of the more democratically diverse countries in Southeast Asia. And because of that, uh, they also tend to have a, a, a liberal view towards immigration, which doesn't mean that it's easy to immigrate, but at least um, nobody will look strange uh, to you if you are a Russian in, in Southeast Asia, because in that country basically everybody is a foreigner in one way or another because there is no such a thing as you know one single population so that's a big benefit you have but it is not very easy to get the uh, the residence permit in the end so there are uh, strict criteria to to be completed but it's not impossible it's not impossible what would you recommend maybe some some advices yeah i think if you speak about immigration issues then you should definitely uh, contact my my singapore colleagues who will probably uh, refer you to, to a specialized firm in, 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 in Singapore, uh, but it's probably a little bit lengthy to get the residence permit. But basically, if you are a director in a Singapore company, you basically have a legal right to, to reside in Singapore. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you very much. Okay.